Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this result as well as we are going to prove the converse of this result is not true. So here we have three matrix spaces xd, yd dash and zd double dash. So let me draw the diagram here. So we have three matrix spaces like this. The first one is xd, second is yd dash and the third is zd double dash. Okay. So such three matrix spaces we have given information is f is a function from x to y. So this is a function we have f from x to y. Second function g from y to z. This is another function g. Given that f and g are continuous functions and we have to prove composition of these two functions that is g composite f which is from x to z. Okay g composite from x to z we have to prove that is a continuous function. So let me clearly mention what which thing we have to prove. To prove that g composite f from x to z is continuous function. Okay. So there are several ways. There are several definitions to prove the function is continuous. We have epsilon delta definition of continuity. We are familiar with sequential criteria of continuity. There is one result also using that thing also we can prove the function is continuous that result is if you have any open set in codomain and if its inverse image is open in domain then we say the function is continuous. So that result I am going to use to prove this j composite f is continuous. So let us take one open set of codomain of g composite f. What is codomain of g composite f? Z. So let us take one open set from here. So let, let us take let G be an open set in ZD double dash. Okay, so let me show here we have some open set here. So suppose such set G we have which is open in ZD dash. But let us use the given information. But G from Y to Z is continuous. What we have, we have a function g which is continuous from y to z. So by definition of continuity or by using that result, we can say its inverse image is open in y. Okay, so let me write therefore g inverse g is open in y d dash. Okay, so the function g is continuous. So that's why we can write its inverse image. So let me show here its inverse image will be like this here. So g inverse of g is open in yd dash. But see one more information we have that is function f is also continuous. So let me mention here but but f from x to y is continuous. So again by using the same result I can write its inverse image. See this is a codomain. y is a codomain of function f. So its inverse image will be open in domain of f. So therefore, what can I write if inverse of g inverse of g is open in xd. So let me show in diagram. If you take its inverse image, it will be like this in matrix space xd, which will be f inverse of g inverse of g. Okay. But see, let me add one thing. But, but if inverse of g inverse of g it is nothing but g composite f inverse of g okay so this is nothing but this one so this one can be replaced by g composite f inverse of g so let me write that thing here let me write that thing so therefore what what we can conclude here g composite f inverse of g since, since both of them are equal so that's why this thing can be replaced by this one is open in xd is open in xd that means we started with open set in zd dash zd double dash and we proved its inverse image g composite f inverse g is open in xd so therefore we can say that g composite f is a continuous function so therefore g composite f from where to where x to z is continuous so in this way we proved composition of two continuous function is continuous. After that we have to prove the converse of this result is not true. 
That means if the G composite F is continuous function, we cannot say anything about continuity of F and G. Get it? So we are going to prove that thing by giving one example. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So now we will prove the converse of given result is not true. So let us take one example. Okay. So we define, I'm going to define a function. We define a function f from r du to r du as see du means a usual distance getting so we have a matrix space r d where d or du which is a usual distance and defined as f of x is equal to 1 if x is rational number and it is equal to minus 1 if x is an irrational number okay so yes in this way the function f is defined let us define one more function now we define now we define g from it is again from r du to r du as so i'm defining in this way g of x is equal to x square so right now we have two functions f and g using that i'm going to find their composition i'm going to find f composite g okay so let me write here then then g composite f from what is domain of f rdu and what is codomain of g rdu so see f from rdu to rdu g from rdu to rdu so therefore g composite f will be from domain of f to codomain of g but see fortunately both are same so we can write in this way defined as defined as let us define g composite f of x so what i do i will first operate f on x we will have g of f of x but as you can see in the definition of f f takes two values plus one or minus one it depends on the value of x if x is rational then its value will be one and if x is irrational its value will be minus one but see uh, the value will be one of them that one or minus one so simply I can write it is one plus or minus one. It is either plus one or minus one. Get it? After that, I'm going to operate G. The definition of G says we have to take square. So let us take square. So it will be plus minus one square. But see, if you take square of plus one or if you take square of minus one, we will have the same value, which is one. Get it? So you can easily see G composite F of X is equal to one. That means it is a constant function. And we know that constant function is always continuous as well as we have g of x is equal to x square which is a polynomial function so that's why it is continuous so let me mention here 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 g composite f and g oh uh, sorry i should mention here g composite f is a constant function and g is a polynomial function hence they are continuous so therefore these two functions are continuous but as you can see in this definition of f f takes two values plus one and minus one uh, it will be one if x is rational it's minus one if x is irrational but see density theorem says between any two rationals we can find irrational number and between any two irrationals we can find rational number so that's why obviously it's a discontinuous function so let me mention but f is not a continuous function getting so that means what we get the composition of these two functions g composite f it's continuous but see f uh, that function f is not continuous so therefore converse of about result this result is not true okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you